Hello my SOC universe and welcome to the review of round 15 of the Premier League. So we have uh, in any case, I think it was a very interesting round, very momentous round because uh, these guys keep beating the big teams at home, not away from home. They almost did something, almost, not really at City, but at home. They are really pesky and um, we have a new leader for that and we have also a Chelsea team that has been uh, conceding three goals that doesn't happen all too often a little bit more that uh, a little bit later uh, I did see a little bit of uh, one of the other big teams getting a very late win and of course Ralf Rangnick made his debut for Manchester United although too early to judge so uh, I would say we go through the games and the first one was West Ham Chelsea. I honestly, I hit myself a little bit that I did not uh, make an effort to watch that one because that was in a way the standout uh, fixture. Uh, and then, uh, you know, it was all for me. Yeah, uh, Milan, 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 Milan at three. So yeah, whatever. Uh, I then saw some highlights and was really surprised to see West Ham winning. Uh, and despite being twice down, uh, uh, Thiago Silva and Mason Mount in a Lazzini penalty in between, where there was a little bit, uh, I, don't, I don't know, the way he celebrated seemed a little bit weird. Weird also, the Chelsea yellow shirt with black pants. Chelsea's blue. I said in my Premier League review, re so uh, it looked like more like uh, West Ham are playing Dortmund in many ways. So, um, West Ham down 2-1 at the half and then in the second half, I mean, yes, Lukaku came, came, came on, but Lukaku is still not far, have found his real footing. And then Bowen gets an equalizer and uh, Masuaku with, I think he meant it. Others may disagree uh, with one of the weirdest goals where he sees Mandy, he, see, he sees him off the line and then he just takes a shot into the near corner from an almost impossible, no, not impossible, but from an unusual position, let's put it that way. So uh, that was a, a rather special goal that wins it for West Ham. Now, uh, West Ham is decimated themselves. I think the back line is completely missing. But it also has to be said, uh, Chelsea conceding goals would be a worry if uh, Mr. Conte and Mr. Kovacic were actually playing, but they were not playing. And it seems like they are really needed for stability. I mean, Jorginho uh, by himself is maybe too error prone uh, for that. So. I'm not too worried about Chelsea, uh, but it might be that this is the downer for uh, the title challenge in many, many, many ways. If I look now at the other results on Saturday, I mean, Newcastle getting a win at Burnley, hmm, big one, the South Coast Derby ending 1 1. Liverpool against Wolves. That one I actually watched the last few minutes, and boy, <laughs> uh, it was all, I mean, it took a while, but that was all Liverpool and Wolves hanging more or less in there, defending well, I gotta say. Uh, but keeping Liverpool to less than a goal is already a big, um, how do I say, a big achievement in, in, in itself. And then having Diogo Jota have one of those misses where a uh, goalie is out, he can play two to the left, he take, tries to take, the, he decides to take the shot, score against his former team. Two people are online and shoots right at them. You can basically tap it in or whatever from that angle. <laughs> no, <laughs> it tries to take the hard, hard shot. It's not, um, uh, you know, the, the aim is a little bit off uh, with, with, with that. And you th really thought that this is kind of uh, the, um, the allegory of the game in a way that, you know, uh, Liverpool trying but ultimately failing but you know Liverpool have that one guy Origi who always when he comes on seems to score important goals and it happened again and I actually had a feeling that it might happen it you know when it's going into stoppage time uh, you usually assume yeah it's gonna pee 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 out, out on the draw but I had a feeling that you know there is enough brilliance on there to get something and that's exactly what what, what happens. Salah, if he's not scoring, he's setting one up, puts it to Origi, who actually makes a nice turn and a great finish in the 94th minute and 1-0. And Liverpool, keep it up, keep it up, keep up there with Manchester City, who themselves had a brilliant first half performance at Watford. Uh, Bernardo Silva, given that he was on the market, 
He is playing the season of his life at the moment. So uh, really, really impressive stuff. Um, he gets, of course, the second goal, the first one by Stur Sterling, but that was a super dominant first half. You might say it's just Watford, but I, from from Water here, was still super, super br brilliant. Uh, they make it 3-0 uh, through Silva again in the second half, and only Kucho pulls one back late on, but at that time, City already had the three points in, uh, in, in, in the back. Uh, the... Two, you know, how to say, hipster teams in many ways. Leeds and Brentford play out a 2 2 draw. Uh, you know, Brent, Brentford's last season's Leeds, also, although they're, hit, hit, they're hitting a little bit the skids. And then, of course, um, United against Crystal Palace. Again, I saw them the last half hour or so because I was watching Lusk. Um, uh, and in any, in, in any case, I mean, uh, um, my, when, when I knew it, when, while I was watching last guy, I was actually checking the um, lineups and I really wanted to make sure uh, is Ronaldo there because that, that, that was a big way, of course, he's there. Uh, very weird formation, like a 4 2 2 2 2 or something like that. Um, and um, the one thing I have to say is that United looked more stable overall but of course he just had a few training sessions you cannot say much but uh, there was a little bit of more uh, felt stability there uh, on the other hand I really would like to see if Jordan Ayew scores what would happen there I mean this was kind of will will be a test in the end it's a really nice goal by Fred of all people who uh, scores the winner so uh, the Ranik rain is off to a really, really good start there, but you know, way too early, give him a month or two and then we'll see how things are working. Spurs with a big win over Norwich, okay, everyone having a big win over Nor Norwich. Villa beating Leicester, that, that, that was again was a contemplating of watching it in the end. Um, yeah, I don't know why I didn't. I actually on Sunday I didn't quite feel it uh, watching. I was too. I had too many things to do for work, and I said, "Okay, it's one that I might not." Uh, but you know, uh, Stephen Gerrard getting another win despite being a goal down, and then Everton also coming back. Uh, yes, they took offside goals. This up by Richard Leeson. They found themselves down through an Odegaard goal, um, but late on they get the win in the 79th. Richard Leeson finally gets his goal, and then Gray. Uh, gets a winner, which to me was one of the more surprising results because you always thought that um, Arsenal's in the up and Everton is on the down. No, they flip, they flip it around, which shows that both teams are not to be trusted. Which means now that in the standings, as I said, we have a new leader. However, when we look expected, it was always Manchester City. Now Liverpool is ahead of Chelsea. Uh, and for that fourth spot, there will be a definite fight with United at the moment. Just sneak, sneaking in. But West Ham, Arsenal and Spurs, they probably have a good chance uh, of going in, in, in there. And we are basically have almost the top seven again that we usually have with West Ham. I mean, the big six plus an additional team, it's not Leicester, it's now West Ham United. We also have a very interesting uh, round coming up. Uh, most no notably Liverpool against Aston Villa, Steven Gerrard coming back to Anfield. I think that's a big one. Uh, if I look at the other ones, City is playing against Wolves, Chelsea at home to Leeds. Uh, that would have, you know, at the moment Chelsea we have to see. <laughs> so let's let let's put it, put it that way. West Ham at Burnley and uh, yeah, I think that and Norwich against Manchester United. So that's basically what's coming up. In any case, so this is what I have to offer for the Premier League for, for this weekend. Please drop a line below if you want to add anything. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. All the stats and probabilities you will get in the stats cast later today. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell. So in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.